god, we got the whole gang here, bro, working on the Miata? Damn. We're operating. Operating on the Miata. Alright, guess that's going on. And I gotta grab the Prius, because it's been firing. We currently don't have a reliable car. They're all broken, everyone's car's broken, so... I'm gonna go try to fix my Prius so I can have an actual, like, reliable car that I can just get in, start, and drive around. Because I have to actually drive to pick up wheels for the 240SX. Unfortunately, I can't do that yet because I don't have a car to grab the wheels in. <coughs> I could take the 240, but I'm just, like, kind of afraid that it's gonna break down or something like that. Not break down, but I'm afraid that the wheels will, like, dent the, the trunk because it's, like, a tin can. And, it just doesn't have any insulation. They're gonna rattle around. I just, I don't know. I feel more comfortable taking the Prius um, to go grab the wheels since the wheels are around two hours away. I want something that can just hop in, get good gas mileage, and be just 100% secure. I don't know if you guys can see, I got my valve cover under there. Goodbye. Start this thing up. All right, man, so it's got a misfire in cylinder four. I already diagnosed it. I'm, gonna, I'm trying to only run it on electricity right now because if it fires up the motor, it's gonna start knocking. Oh, well, it's actually doing okay right now. Wait. Oh, it's actually, it's actually driving right now. Wait, it's not misfiring. Huh. Never mind. I spoke too soon. It's heavily misfiring right now. The engine sounds like it's about to explode and misfire and blow up and knock. I, I spoke way too soon. <laughs> I gotta get home. I gotta get home. Wow, this sounds like absolute. Took a little break, getting some grub. Recommended by Griffin. About to eat some fish and grill. Alright, finally got this stupid cowl out. Literally right there. It took like 30, 30, 45 minutes. Not as interesting as uh, what's going on right here, but I just switched the coils. I got my code reader. I'm going to clear the code and make sure that's the uh, only misfire that's happening. If it switches, mis if it misfires in cylinder 3, which I uh, switched supposedly the bad coil to, then it's a bad coil. If it's uh, still misfiring in cylinder 4, and I got a bad plug, so let's go find out. Yeah, all right, guys. Went to O'Reilly's, picked up a, a OEM replacement for the not OEM, sorry, a warranty replacement for the coil. So I'm gonna go and replace it right now. Oh, got the freaking. Oh. Please don't misfire. God, I think I think it's all misfiring. I think we're good. All right, taking this thing for a test drive, man. I can't go fast because the wiper, the wiper's on sitting on top of the motor. Okay, I just need the engine to kick on. Oh my god! I think we're good. Oh my god, my motor's all blown. Oh. Wait, okay, I might be speaking too soon, but. Yup. Yup. Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo. Oh my god, dude, it's all blown! This is the ignition coil that fried again for some reason after 20,000 miles. I don't know why that's a reoccurring thing. But, uh. Alright. Price is finally fixed. I finally have at least one reliable car. Oh god. Alright, now I have time to fix the other three cars I own. Alright, guys, after a successful nap. Um, I'm actually, huh? I did. I took like an hour nap, but I passed out after I did the Prius. So I, yeah, huh? That's true. If I didn't, if I just laid down and I didn't sleep, um, a lot of you guys have been saying like intercooler, intercooler, and I've also, you know, had this intercooler for a long time now. So the day has finally come. I'm actually throwing it up um, on the. Stands right here. It's pretty secure. It looks a little looks a little sus, but I promise it's secure. It's not a. Uh, it's not going anywhere. I think. Yeah, I have it jacked up. Two jacks on each side and stands. 
Um, I have the cinder blocks in case it does actually fail. I put, I made sure they're level because I'm on a, I'm on a hill right here, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna start taking the Nikola. I can't finish it today, but you know, because we're going on a drive. But I'm just gonna take out some basic stuff just so you guys, you know, so I can get it started basically. What the hell is that, man? What are you doing? All right, so first step, I removed the battery, obviously. That battery is an absolute no-go when it comes to V-mount. Uh, it's not gonna fit at all because the V-mount takes up most of the space. So, I gotta take out this OEM tray and figure that out later. I'm basically, I think I'm gonna try to use like a Miata battery or something smaller to uh, fit in this spot right here, but I'm gonna have to get a new tray or make a new tray or something like that because this one, I don't think it'll fit. I mean, I'm like 90% sure it won't fit. Um, just because of how much damn space it takes up, this battery is literally like a 40 pound weight. Or like, I think it's a 50 pound weight. It's really, really heavy. Point is. Alright guys, so we got the, uh, holy. <laughs> so we got the battery tray out. Um, yeah, that's battery crush. That's okay. not that bad. It is? Yeah. Okay. It's also a replaceable part. That's that not is. That bad. I actually have to replace that for the, for the V-mount. with no just, I'm going to buy an aluminum thing and drill into it. Next, we're removing the AST. Uh, this is very controversial in the rotary community. It's basically an air separation tank for the uh, for the coolant. So a lot of people say delete it because it's not necessary if you don't have any like air bubbles in your system. But there will always be air bubbles in your system sometimes. So um, it's like, do you keep it or do you delete it? It's kind of uh, it's kind of difficult to relocate, especially with a V mount. So I'm just gonna remove it for now and kind of figure out what to do with it later. But uh, I'm pretty sure you can just make one here or just get an aluminum and aluminum one and relocate it because these plastic ones tend to crack. Alright guys we're taking off the uh the intake part of the intake manifold this is the elbow. This is the plastic elbow that no one likes and it's really easy to remove. I just never it's I plastic? Never, basically. Oh wow it is it's plastic. Oh, shit. I don't know who it designed looks metal. it. Actually I do know who designed it. Um no, I can't really agree with their engineering Especially with this motor that's basically a ticking time bomb, but whatever, you know. Uh, that's what they were doing in 1992. So, creating plastic elbows under for engines that produce extreme heat. I wouldn't do it, but, uh, you know, they did it, so now we have, we have a feed one. I bought a feed one for, like, 180 bucks. Really expensive, but it's aluminum, so shouldn't, uh, shouldn't crack or anything like that. can also be tapped for a blow-off valve as well, because I don't have, well, I have a blow-off valve, but it's, kind of ghettoly hooked up right now it's kind of it's a it's yeah it's a heater hose into the intake elbow that's nice. supposed to be for an idle control thing cool that's uh, that's how ghetto it is yeah so yoink we unbolt it no oh you did i did why is it on there so hard it's coming off, it's coming off. just keep pulling yep you sure yep there it goes well there that goes Go. Got all that oil in there. Yeah, we can see more there. Yep. Oh, yeah, there's a little bit of oil in there. Here, hold up. Yeah. There's a uh, little bit of oil in there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Alright, guys, I don't think this car thing's ever been out of the car. I'm not gonna lie. Hold on. Hello? <laughs> okay. There we go. Nice. There we go. Okay, this AST is proving to be a little bit. Dude, you should just delete it. Huh? It's not necessary. It's not necessary. You know? <laughs> it's uh, controversial, bro. Uh, some rotary owners say keep it, some say uh, delete it. But I, uh, you know. Well, there it is. There it is. Ooh. Um. So yeah, this is the. So it's gonna go like right here. Yeah, the intercooler. Yeah, it's just gonna sit like right here, and then the V mount's gonna sit like. It's gonna be like a V. So like, that's why they call it a V mount. So the. Basically, the intercooler is going to be right here like this, and the radiator is going to be like this. So, with the front bumper, obviously, I have a stock one, but it still allows some airflow in. It basically allows the air to dissipate and go both equally into the intercooler and the radiator. Right now, basically, what it was before was the radiator is blowing hot air into the <laughs> into the intercooler, and that's not good. I mean, it's good for cooling. It's good for uh, water temps to keep my water temps down, but uh, not good for my air temps. Yep. And things catch on fire. It's not yeah. Good. Things. Cool. Yeah. That thing. thing. <laughs> <laughs> that. <laughs> kind of fire mold. Hey, we got the oil line in though. Look at that. Ten dollars off. Good view. Good yep. view. Ten dollar Amazon. Uh, what are these called? 
and yeah, clamps and, and fittings and fittings with Ethan's uh, thirty dollar braided hose. Works like a damn dream, man. Uh, we were pushing it. It's totally fine. No leaks. Nothing. It doesn't even leak anymore. So, cool. Oh yeah, dude. There's like a fire down there. Look, it's that like crispy. See, see where the waste gate is? That's where the fire was. See all the burnt oh stuff. Oh my god! <laughs> it yeah. was actually on fire. <laughs> yeah, there's like remnants of the fire. That's hilarious. Yeah, that's kind of funny. <laughs> dude, that's so sketchy. Dude, that is sketchy as fuck. I'm surprised like this shit didn't burn. Oh, yeah, I guess it did a little. It did. Oh, it's yeah, sin- it's yep, it's bro. totally singed. Yeah, bro, it's uh, got burnt a little oh bit, bro. Oh my god. Yeah. All right, guys. After a long day of working on cars. We finally get a drive up, an old road for sunset. I'm not taking the RX-7, obviously, because it's up on jack stands. I, I was about to drive it, actually, today, but I made the smart decision to actually, like, get the V-mount done, even though it'll be a couple days process. It's better to, you know, actually fulfill my promises towards you guys and myself by actually getting the V-mount in and uh, secure it. I, I, there will be some custom stuff that'll have to be made, like, uh, custom, like, probably pipes and also custom bracketry, but you know, we'll figure it out. It's nothing I can't do. It'll just take some time. I get a cruise with all the homies. Look at that boy right there. We got new sway bars now. Oh my God. I'm skirting around everywhere, so I gotta let him pass. Haha, uh, you know? I don't wanna die here. Well, it would be unfortunate if I died. <laughs> Alright, I've seen a lot of people addressed uh, this. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's a lot of dead steer. Uh, I was barely moving the wheel there. So, I know that smooth movements hard, are good, but I can't exactly, it's really hard for me to do that because the bushings are blown out. Tie rods are blown out. So, you know. It's not really doing much when I adjust it like that. When I make micro adjustments, it's actually not doing anything. Uh, the steering input is so bad that even if I do this, it doesn't even affect the car. So, yeah. Is it dangerous? Yeah, a little bit. It's definitely a little bit dangerous. And, uh, oh, I'm gonna, we're gonna die. But you know what, you live and you learn. That's, uh, that's life for you. At least I got the Prius working. So if I biff this car, which I, I don't want to, I'll still have the Prius. As my reliable, but this car has been reliable, man. I'm telling you guys, it's really fun to just kind of cruise up. Uh, it's not really too much of a downhill car right now. I got to get 300 ZX brakes, which is like, I think it's like a grand for the setup at Z1. So, so it's, uh, it's a little pricey, but you know, it never, it never hurts to have upgraded brakes. Cause oh my god, these brakes are just horrible. I put 89 in it, mid mid grade gas. So hopefully it doesn't ping up top. But also it's my commuter car, so I don't really put race gas in it. It's also a single cam KA, so <laughs> it doesn't really it doesn't really need that. Okay, use all the road. There we go. Woo! <laughs> yeah, I came up with other people, like all the homies, but they obviously lost me because I'm slow as hell. But sometimes you gotta you, you gotta solo mission it. You know, sometimes you're by yourself and you're lonely. And it's okay. I'm by myself in my lonelies. It's all good, man. It's all for good fun. Woo! Hey, I'm having fun. <laughs> Just kind of cruising by myself. Becoming a better driver. Hopefully. Feeling out. I'm just kind of feeling out the car, you know? So much smoother guys look okay no one's crying in the comments now right no one's crying that i'm doing this <laughs> uh, all right 
No, for real though. You guys, uh, you guys were getting a little upset over that. And I was like, hey, look, you know, I'm just doing me, all right? Uh, we got Mach 1 boys in the back uh, on the bikes right here. Gotta let him pass. There you go. See? I let people pass if they're faster than me. I don't care. I don't care. It doesn't hurt my ego. I know that they're faster, so I just pull over and let them pass. It's really not that hard. It takes all of five seconds. A lot of people can learn from that. Oh, sorry. Yep. You know? Just pull over. I shifted too early there. Oh my god. Man, the single cam bro. <laughs> Sometimes I do wish I had an SR20 in this. That would be uh that would be pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie. An SR20 would be big bussin'. And new wheels, since I'm kind of skirting all over the place. But, you know, maybe after a couple more drops, I can afford it. We'll see. <laughs> uh, yeah. Or maybe I'll set up, no, I don't want to set up a Patreon. That'd be, that'd be stupid. I, I, I can't, I can't just ask for donations from you guys. That's, that's messed up. That's messed up. What I can do is ask if any of you guys know anybody that works at Injuku or something that could hook me up with some parts, you know, in exchange for uh, content. That's how you guys could help me. Is if you guys help me get parts, uh, basically, if you guys hook me up with partnerships or you guys know anybody, anybody at Injuku or like any of the companies that like Z1 that would basically, that basically makes these brake kits and stuff like that for these cars, uh, that'd be great because then I could use them, you know? Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Never mind, we're good. It doesn't have enough power to kill me. <laughs> it's just if I take a turn too fast, which is very hard on the uphill because I, like I said, I don't have, I don't have a lot of power here. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like skirting around, bro. It's kind of funny. Oh, oh my god. <sighs> This thing is so fun and funny. Hmm. I wonder if an NA Miata would be faster than this. Comment down below if you guys have a if you guys have a 1.6 or a 1.8 uh, Miata, the NAs or an NB. Comment down below if it's uh, power-wise, if the Miata is faster than this. I think they are. Like this thing has more torque than the Miata, but this is a single cam. I'm pretty sure the Miatas are dual cam, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Made it to the uphill. Charcucci board. Yo, what's going on guys? Um, one of our close homies and also housemates just crashed on the toge uh, on the mountain road. So just, this is a reminder guys to always stay safe. Please drive within you know, limits, try to be safe. Um, be wary of all that stuff because we don't want to see any of you guys or anyone close to us like been out cool, like that. It's not glamorized. It's like, it sucks, yeah. but if you're drive safe and it's, yeah. yeah. He, he, he's okay, he's okay, and that's the best part, but you know, it could have been a lot worse, and I don't want to see any of you guys um, have to go through that too, so yeah. just be safe out there, totally and uh, enjoy the Cirque Charcuti board. <laughs> Alright, yo, what is going on guys, you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much, um, as you saw, a lot of dead steer in my S13, so 
it's probably due to the bushing, so that'll come a little later. I gotta do some other stuff to the car first, like pull the frame and uh, get it on proper suspension and wheels and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, that's as far as the updates go on the S13. And for the FD, as you guys saw, I finally put up on the jack stands, removed the intercooler and stuff like that. The installation will be the tough part because it is a CX Racing kit. I have like custom turbo manifold, uh, you know, a precision, like it's not all kit. It's not one kit, it's different kits put together. So not everything will made up 100%. So I'll probably have to fab some stuff with Ethan. I don't know. It might be like a week process. I don't know. I'm hoping it'll be faster. It should be like a day or two. But with all the custom stuff that has to be done, probably like more like a week. So that's really cool. And then also the website. Website's awesome. Uh, shirts are great. We're selling out pretty fast. So if you guys haven't got one already, make sure you check out the link down below. Newhashiria.jp. We still have shirts in all sizes. Uh, they're running out fast though. So. Yeah, once again, guys, thank you so much if you made it to the end of the video. Peace.